All right, the last lesson was a pretty quick lesson on uh, powers of 10 patterns. Now we're going to be focusing on lesson 3.2, which is estimating. Now when you estimate, you're finding an answer that's around the correct answer, about. So here are our steps. We're going to round each number to the highest place value. So for example, if it's 462, I'm going to round it to the hundreds place because that's my largest place value. Then you're going to multiply the numbers together which shouldn't be too hard because mo they will have a bunch of zeros um, and so we won't have to go through all of the multiplication process that's why we do that now multiply the numbers together rather than after okay the number of zeros in the product remember the answer should be the number of zeros in both of the factors together. So I'm going to show you what this means. So let me give you a couple examples. Okay. If I'm asked to estimate, I'm not asked to find an exact answer. I'm finding something that is close to it. So if I'm multiplying 23 times 38 and it's told, I'm told to estimate the product, remember product means answer, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change these numbers. So they 20, the tens place is the largest place value that I have. So I'm going to round to the nearest 20. And what we did in one of our last lessons is we say, we look at our two, we look next door, th five or more and let it soar, th four or less, let it rest. So we're going to make this 20. Then we're going to do the same to this number. We're going to look next door. Five or more, let it soar. So this is going to become 40. Okay, I'm going to multiply, forget the zeros, I'm going to multiply my number together. That's eight. How many zeros do I have? I have two. So an estimation of 23 times 38 is 800. The answer is about 800. My next one, estimate the product. I have 121 times 12. And if it's written that way, I can still write it like this. Okay? So the largest place value here is the hundreds. So I'm going to round to the nearest hundreds. I'm going to look next door, four or less, let it rest. This one, the highest is the 10, so you're rounding it to the place value that's closest to the left. I look next door, two is four or less, let it rest, so it is 10. I'm going to multiply all my numbers that are not zeros. So one times one is one. How many zeros do we have? One, two, three. 1,000 is our estimate. 121 times 12 is about 1,000. Okay, I'm going to do one more. A 
and then I'm going to give you a couple examples to do on the right hand side, submit it as an assignment, and then you are going to go and complete your assignment on Savas. Okay, we are going to estimate the product. Remember when we estimate, we're finding about, I have 72 times 26, okay? My largest place value to the left on the top one is seven, is tens, so seven next door, four or less, let it rest. I'm gonna do my, my two here, five or more, let it soar. I'm gonna multiply my non-zero number, seven times three is 21, I have two zeros. Here are your examples that I need you to submit to Schoology. Your estimate the product. All right, my first one is, I'm gonna give you four. 513 times 19. Two hundred and twelve times forty four. All right, for number three, we're going to do. Let's see. One hundred and eighty nine times forty six. And the last one will be. Eight hundred and eighty eight times. 303. So you're going to submit the answers to these four problems to the Schoology assignment and then go work on your problems from Savas for 3.2.